up guys, RS Xbox Kaka here and I'm here doing something a little bit different, a little, a little bit of a tutorial which I thought I would do, you know, my render settings and everyone's render settings are different but um, this is my settings that I use and I just want to show you guys and you can try out and if it looks crisp enough, I mean you guys have seen my videos, my recent videos so um, you know just have a look at them and if it looks okay and you know try it. So um, first thing is first I will go to new new and these are the new project settings that I would advise you put I have loads of different presets um, a lot of different presets but I just go for new 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 which is the one I just recently made so that is 1280 by 720 width by height field order I go for non progressive scan on this is on Sony Vegas 12 but I'm sure it goes for the same for Sony gave us Sony Vegas 11 10 and 9 that's as far as I know. I've never used eight. I I know about ten, nine, uh, ten, nine, ten, and eleven and twelve. So um, let's see, pixel pixel aspect. I'll go for one point zero 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 square output rotation zero degrees and frame rate. I've got for twenty nine point nine seven NTSC. Um, Serif to leave that off. Pixel format eight bit. Full resolution uh, rendering quality best. Motion blur type Gaussian and deinterlace mode method. Sorry, none and start all projects this way so once i've clicked those settings as you can see project will be 1280 by 720 times 32 29.97 which is what i what i want basically and uh, let's go open our project so i'm going to be using this gta clip which i was using for my um which i was going to use for my uh what was it it was going to be a video about um collecting yeah collecting parts you know part letter parts in gta 5 which is going to be that um, six minutes long. Let's just make it a nice little uh, three minute, two minute video. You know, just uh, as a preview, three minute video. All right, whatever. That's all right. That's all right. So we're just gonna have it as that. And you know, first thing, see the project here is 720 by 480, and that's not what you want. So what I normally try, when that happens, that is, I normally change those settings again. So I just go here. And I'll customize it. Can you see it's 720 by 480? So I'll go that straight down and I'll change that to my new, 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 new and start apply. And there we go. So straight away it's changed that to that 1280 by 720 high definition or 720p definition that you get on YouTube, which you want. You want the best quality and it's a nice quality. So as straight away you can see the black bars. What you normally do to get rid of these black bars is right click it, properties. And then you maintain aspect ratio, reduce inter -flick or interlace flicker, disable resample. And straight away, you know, it's got rid of the top black bars and that's what we want. We want to get rid of all the black bars. So this is where your invent pan crop comes in handy. And oh, what happened there? Uh, that was crazy. What I normally do is I use my GTA and we just put that to the side for you guys to see. So I can put that side by side. Yeah. Okay, that'll do. So I've got my event pan crop and I've got my own preset which I've been using which is my GTA but you know you drag along as you can see before it was like this oops, before it was like this and you just drag it along to kind of get rid of these black bars but you want to be careful you don't cut off everything you want to make sure everything is still there but if you want to copy mine to be exact you've got my width there you can just pause the video the width height the x center y center rotation etc etc and you can see it's it's not bad you know it's got everything I can I've got everything in the screen I've got everything I want to see and that's what I use for all my videos so once we've got rid of the black or the black bar lines we go straight to the FX and you know this is where people get a bit um, personal people do different things people have it their own different way but for me I use uh, definitely c color curves and sometimes I use sharpen sometimes I don't certain games need sharpen certain games don't need sharpen and you can you can tell that for example um, GTA it's a crisp game you don't really need sharpen I mean I tested it out in one of my videos I did use sharpening and it kind of looked a bit odd it looked like it was too sharp and then it it kind of killed it so so sometimes I'd use color corrector or color corrector secondary but these two definitely these two color curves and color corrector secondary and again I have my presets guys which do make a difference for me so if I start off with color curves I have my preset which is HD I'll allow you guys to see that over here and you can see I've got it right to the top and I've got it well right to the top and I've got the curve just uh, just that much to the left literally that much to the left nothing more nothing less it's it's good there but it's kind of something you mess around with till you find that 
that color that you really like and then I've also got it that much to the right you know the bottom curve and if we have a test of what it looks like on and off let's have a quick look 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 so you can you see when I've got it when I've got color curves off you've got this ghostly shadow that covers the screen Ooh, excuse me and when I've got it on you know it kind of takes away that ghostly shadow and it looks better you know it looks that screen it doesn't look as nice when it's got that kind of that blur on it that's what it gets rid of with the color curves and see on that's off sorry and that's on off on and sometimes like I said it's kind of about playing around with it this is where I've got my color corrector secondary and I've got defo and I've got HD defo one and this is just the same they're the same things but I, I call them different things because I thought I'll have different this is just for me different uh, you know just testing around and seeing different things but if I put that on it, ooh, it if I put that on it brightens the screen it definitely can you see straight away you saw the difference it definitely brightened the screen over here and I put it, take it off put it on let's see that's it off and that's it on can you see these colors in the background here like if you see these colors in the buildings look at that orange tint it's dark and you can't really see the shadow or you can see the shadow in but you can't really see the, the colors are not really popping up the screen but if you put it on I keep on double clicking that it really pops up the screen uh, let's see if you can see the phone the difference in the phone if you see the background in the phone it looks like a little dark orange and if you put it on it it's a brighter luminous it makes it really makes the colors pop and it's all down to personal preference I'll give you another example so that's off and that's on off on off on it really makes the colors pop and it's all up to you like I said like I really prefer my colors to be popping so you guys can see everything but it all depends on the game some games do not need it at all some games literally run well without any of this you know they run really well like um, you can you see with the taxi here it makes it the yellowness uh, makes the orangey yellowness on the taxi pop a bit more pop off on on off so that's what I use and if you want I'll just pause it here so you guys can see exactly what my settings are for the color corrector or Sony color corrector secondary and this is what I use for these so I'll just let you pause it there and that's what I use for my color curves and again normally you can go with just color curves you can literally go with color curves alone and alone only it, it works well it doesn't do you know it doesn't make it look crap it makes it look pretty well uh, makes it look pretty well it makes it look pretty good so you can go either you can just have color correct secondary on but that looks very really terrible you can still see that kind of ghostly shadow there so you can just have color curves which does the business alone but you can also put color correct on just give it some support but for this purposes I'll just have both so once I've done that you know I've got my 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 vent pan crop done there where I've got rid of black bars I've got my FX which I've got rid of my uh, you know my ghostly blurs and anything else that does not look nice you know I've added my music um, I've added my music my sound etc etc all I just do now is I just render as so I, I normally like to do this because ooh, God, my bad I normally like to do this because what happens a lot of the time is you get little gaps where you make it um, you actually render your video and it comes up with a little gap the little little tiny tiny end of the video was just a black screen and I've had that before because I'll be I'll start the rendering at some point here and it's just ridiculous you don't want that so I just normally double click it to make sure that this part is highlighted my video is highlighted my video only and I'll go render as there we go and again render settings everyone has their different render settings but this is my template for my rent I've got my templates here HD gameplay HD gameplay 2 best template best for everything best ever for everything you know I'm really I'm really different I, I like to spice things up I've got different render set um, different render settings because I like different things you know just see but you want to go for Windows media V what's that V11 um, extras V, uh, WMV sorry I've got really tongue twisted there that was a lot, a lot of V's and W's there and then you want to go for 6 megabytes HD 720 by 30 P which is good but then you uh, then you just customize it you go customize template once you click that and you want to make sure the mode is on CBR and then you want to make sure obviously the Windows Media Audio is 9.2 attributes you just leave that and video you go CBR again Windows Media Video 9 high definition 1 2 1280 by 720p pixel accurate ratio 1.000 square frames 30 frames per second and obviously video smoothest have it 100% you know sharpest 
and then bid freight and everything else you can just leave um, you can just leave it as that it will be alright else it at the end sorry project you want to make sure video rendering quality is at best if you want to leave this use just use project settings as it is because remember we turned it off at the beginning and you just want to leave that as it is and then you just oh, change the name so uh, GTA part parts because it was going to be for a parts video which I have not put together and you render as and it just starts rendering and you know it depends on the or it depends on the size of the file and depends how fast your computer is that's all depending how that will determine how fast it renders but sometimes I like to speed up a bit and I you know close all the files that you don't want if you want to speed up different ways of speeding up the rendering you can just close everything that you have here uh, so if I was to close that let's close that window yeah, right click there, start desktop manager. Uh, there you go. Uh, you want to close all the things that are eating up. If you can see, things are eating up your memory and you know your CPU usage. So I'm going to close my Steam here uh, and pre process over here. And I'm going to Windows Explorer is the whole, the whole Windows Explorer. This is your whole um, system here basically if you you, you want to make sure that's running uh, low priority so more priority goes towards your Sony Vegas so I'll put that at low and I'll right click on Sony Vegas and put that at high and the priority changes completely and Sony Vegas runs at a high speed but I'm not going to do that because I'm recording at the moment and I want to make sure I don't know why I changed my Windows, uh, Windows Explorer but you just change that and that's it and you're done and you change that and once it's rendered it's completely finished so yeah guys this is the quality that you know that comes with it in the end like i said it's my quality it's the one i use and it works well for me it, it, it looks smooth if you if you guys are watching this on hd it looks pretty it looks good i'm not gonna lie you know i'm not you know i'm not i'll get off my horse but it looks good but um you know i hope you guys enjoy this and i hope you guys you know try this tutorial out for yourself um, if you'd like to see some more tutorials on you know Vegas or anything or Photoshop just let me know um, but hope you guys take care but take care guys let us peace